Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to link to a particular folder in Microsoft Excel, another Excel file, a particular sheet in an Excel file, a particular cell in an Excel file, also a particular place in a Word document. And I'll also show you how to list and hyperlink to all the folders and files in a particular folder. Okay, let's start off with linking to a particular folder in Excel. Now to create the hyperlink, you could right click in the cell and then go to link. Or what I do is use the shortcut key control K. So then you need to select the folder that you want to link to. And you can change the text that is going to be used for the hyperlink. So for example, I might get rid of those A's at the beginning of the folder name. I click on OK, and there's my hyperlink. If I click on it, it opens up that particular folder. Now it's pretty similar if you want to link to a particular Excel file. So Control K, I go into the folder, I select the Excel file that I want to link to, and then up here in the text to display box, I just adjust this text. So it just gives the file name. Click on OK, click on this hyperlink, it opens up that particular file. Now you can also link to a particular sheet in an Excel file. So Control K, select my Excel workbook. And now to specify the sheet that you want to link to, click on this bookmark button and then select the sheet. So I'll select the March sheet, click on OK. Now you can see that I've forgotten to adjust the text to display on this hyperlink. But what I can do is right click and then edit hyperlink and then just adjust this text here. I'll just call it March Sheet. Click on this. It opens up the March Sheet within that particular workbook. Now in this workbook, I've got a sheet with many, many cells in it. But what I'm going to do is create a link to this particular cell, this yellow cell. And the way I can do this is give a name to that cell. So I'm going to call this test link. I cannot have a space in a name. And you can see where I'm typing that name. It's in the name box, which is just to the left of the formula bar. Press enter to confirm. So I'll save this and close it. So how do I link to that particular cell? So control K, find that particular file, and then go to bookmark again. And there we are, there's my test link named reference. Click on OK. And again, I've forgotten to edit the name or the text that is used for the hyperlink. So I right click, edit hyperlink, and I'll just delete all this text before the text link name. And if I click on that, it will take me to that file in that particular place. Just to check that it does work, I'll just select this cell up here and I'll even go to the January sheet and say select this cell here and save. Close the document and I'll reuse this link. And you can see it still selects that particular cell. Now, if you want to link to a place in a Word document, I'll just open the particular Word document I want to link to. Now, in this Word document, I've got a plan of action heading. And I'm going to place a bookmark in this position. So to do that, I go to the Insert tab and then click on this Bookmark button. And I'll just call the bookmark POA. Plan of action, can't have a space in the bookmark name. Click on add and then save. So back in my Excel file, I want to link to that particular place in the Word document. So control K, go into that folder. There's the file summary. And all I need to do after this address is put a hash symbol and then the name I gave the bookmark. I'll change the text to display to plan of action. Click on OK. So I'll click on that hyperlink. And you can see it jumps to that document and navigates to that heading. 
So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create a hyperlink to all the files and folders that are in this folder. So we'll do this on a new sheet and we're going to use Power Query to do this. So you go to the Data tab, Get Data from File, from Folder. So you then need to navigate to the folder that you want to do this for. Select it and then click on Open. Then click on Transform Data. So you need to select the name column, then hold down control and select the folder path column. Go to the remove columns button and remove other columns. So next I need to change the order of these columns. So name is to the right of the folder path. So I'm going to select that column heading, hold down the left button on my mouse and drag over to the right of the folder path column. Then I'm going to select both columns. So I select the first one, control, select the second one. I'm going to go to add column, merge columns, separate and none, new column name, path, click on OK. So I've now got the path to each of these files. I can then get rid of this folder path column. So I can just right click on its column heading, choose remove. I then want to get rid of the file extensions on these names. So I'm going to go to this Extract button, Text Before Delimiter. My delimiter is a period, full stop. Click on OK. We can then get rid of this column. And then I'm ready to load into Excel. So I go to the Home tab, close and load. So then what I need to do is create another column. I'll call it Link and I'm going to use the hyperlink function in this column. So your link location would be the path, comma, and the friendly name would be the name of the file. Close the bracket, press enter, and you might then need to overwrite all cells in this column with the formula just by clicking on this button. To apply this format, the blue font color and the underline to the rest of the links. Select that cell that already contains the format. Double click on the Format Painter. This is on the Home tab. Select the first link that you want to copy the format to. Control Shift down arrow key and it'll apply it to the rest of the links. Click back on the Format Painter to turn it off. We just widen that column. So if I just zoom out a little, let's see if these links work. So this one here, Bank Statement Data, click on that, opens up that file. This one here is a CSV file. This one here is a PDF reference guide. You can see that's opened up. So all the different types of files have been linked to. So the other thing you might want to do is create a link to each of these subfolders. You can use Power Query to do that as well. So go to the Data tab, get data from file, from folder. Navigate to the folder that you're creating links for. Click on Open. Click on Transform Data. What you then want to do is select the folder path column. Go to Remove Columns, Remove Other Columns. Then go to Remove Rows, Remove Duplicates. And I'll just widen this column so you can see what we've got. Now the next thing we're going to do is create a column that is going to hold the subfolder's name. Before we do that, just copy the name, the default name that the query has been given, because that is the folder name that we're extracting these subfolders from. So then go to Add Column, Extract, Text After Delimiter, paste in that column name, click on OK, then select your new column, go to Transform, Replace Values, replace the slash with nothing, click on OK, and you've got the name of the folder. Now we don't actually want this row here, 
So I'm going to exclude the blank row. Then I'm going to load this to Excel. So home, load and close. So now I can do the same trick that we did with the individual files and create a link column and use the hyperlink function. So link location is in column A and the friendly name is in column B. Copy it down. Use the format painter to copy the format for the hyperlink. Double click on the format painter. Select the first cell, control shift down arrow key. Turn the format painter off. And now I can click on these links and it opens up the particular folder. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.